Hey, Andrew here at Shop 2020 with Brandon from Franklin Armory. We've got all kinds of new stuff this year. Tons and of goodies. The thing that's like super exciting for me is the Reformation is kind of back. Is that right? It's always been back. It's always been it's back. It's always been back. So there's a lot of. <laughs> awesome. Uh, the, the letter that the ATF issued was confusing, right? It was yeah. kind of hard to understand. But just to let you guys know that it is still legal to own if you own one already, but we are selling uppers. We just can't sell them as completes anymore. We are selling uppers. So if you guys own one, you guys are good to go. And you can still build them in your own home. Good to go. Okay. If you want some more details about that ATF letter we covered in the news a couple of weeks ago, we'll throw a link in the description. But for now, we can buy uppers, yes. assemble the rifle, not rifle, assemble firearm. the firearm at yes. home, and have a reformation. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, so we're what, selling those online, of course. Yeah. Sweet. What else do we want to? This guy right here. This right here is going to be our newest. It's going to be our entry level edition. It's going to be called the BFS3 M4. So okay. binary trigger equipped, complete rifle, about a thousand bucks. Awesome. Yeah, so entry level. We're going to drop the prices down a little bit for you guys. And uh, yeah, if you guys want a complete rifle, don't want to build your own trigger pack, any of that stuff, get you guys one of these. 16 inch barrel. 16 inch barrel. It's got the A2 flash hider, aluminum mags, and it's got our uh, forged upper and receiver, upper and lower receiver. Twist rate? Uh, I believe one in seven. I believe. One in seven? Double check online. You guys can find that information out online though. All right, all right. Yeah, so moving on. Providence updates. So people were kind of disappointed about Providence not being here this year, right? For live fire at range day. We're still okay. working on it. It takes a lot of time and a lot of engineering bandwidth to build a uh, brand new firearm from the ground up. Yeah. But we made improvements. You guys want to come over here? Okay, so tell me more about this Providence because I haven't really been following it. It seems like it's some kind of double action thing almost, like almost like a double action revolver yeah. where the trigger is pulling the bolt back, but why do we care? So what we developed this for was international markets, and it's kind of similar and reminiscent to like a double action, but it's actually called a digital action, as in digital, your finger, digital. digit. Uh, and okay. Yeah. Dad jokes, alert. Yeah, sweet. So, anyways, uh, cool thing about this is that there's, it's gonna be inherently safe. So okay. you got a loaded mag, right? No round in the chamber, pull the trigger. Scoops a round off, the carrier's gonna come back, it's gonna hit a breaking point, and it's gonna scoop a round off, the rotating locking bolt's gonna close, and that fixed firing pin's gonna slam that primer and send that round down range. There's no gas system in this. Now there's a, there's a spent case in the chamber. Yes. I pull the trigger, it extracts, now it extracts ejects, ejects, chambers another rinse round and repeat. fires. Yes. Kind of like the bastard child of a double action revolver and an open bolt submachine gun. Kind of, but it's not open bolt. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it starts from a closed bolt and it's a rotating locking bolt. But when bolt, the trigger so. breaks, it starts from the bolt back and then it pulls it. Yeah, and then it's it so much different. This, yeah. You know what? There are not a lot of truly different firearms out there, yes. different designs. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Yeah, so we debate, uh, debuted this at SHOT Show last year as a prototype, and it's still in prototype phase right now, and it just takes a lot of engineering bandwidth and a lot of time to develop a, uh, a groundbreaking yeah. firearm from yeah, the ground up. So, yeah, I mean, it, it takes some time. Good things take time, but it's coming soon. Hopefully it'll be out uh, by the end of this year, and the cool thing about this is it gets even better. Think about this as a suppressor host. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it stays locked. There's no port nose. Nothing going back. No port pop or any of that stuff. All that energy's going down. No range, gas right? back in your face. Yes, right? Also, cool thing about this is if you kind of turn that towards the camera there, the bottom of this uh, receiver here, okay. it's got some pins in it. So this is going to be modular. So we're exploring okay. options for uh, conversion kits. So right now it's going to come off the shelf with block magazines, right? Okay. We're going to okay, make see, it yeah. so it can accept uh, HK, SIG, Colt. It's also going to be caliber convertible, too. So, so. There's, there's basically three parts to this receiver. You've there's a got lot of this, parts. The, yeah. <laughs> but to the receiver, there's this the, yeah. the, the fire control housing, there's a, a magazine yes. module, and there's an upper receiver. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. So take the barrel off, change your, uh, your bolt, change your receiver a little bit, and then you go with the uh, magazine well, and you got a new firearm, basically. Awesome. Pretty rad, right? That That's super rad. Yeah. It's also got a uh, trigger bar safety, and it's also side charging, too. Okay, yeah. yeah. 
I can dig it. Pretty neat. Pretty innovative. I got high hopes for this thing. And when it comes out, I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting one. <laughs> do you think it's probably not possible to do this in a rifle caliber because of the, the stroke of the trigger would be so long for the longer cartridges? Yeah, I, you know, it'd be hard. We could probably pull it off, but I don't know what kind of benefit you'd be getting out of it. Well, we can explore that later down the road. Right now, it's going to come out in uh, pistol calibers. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. It's going to be in a pistol format and a rifle format. Well, thank you for not rushing it to market. Thank you for not releasing a broken product. <laughs> exactly. You know, we, yeah. we just got to release a good product. This is exciting. We're getting there. So all those awesome. people that are looking for the Providence, it's going to be coming out soon. And uh, hopefully we'll have some live fire demos of proof of concept, stuff like that soon. Sweet. What else we got to take a look at? We got tons of stuff. CA series. We just came out with some upgrades of the original CA7. It's that uh, okay. California AR pistol that's California legal. Watch your mouth. We don't use that kind of terminology on, on this channel. <laughs> we'll, we'll, so, we'll, we'll edit it out so that you don't say those curse words. Yeah, don't make me look the like CA a joker. Series. Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. So CA11, right? This is going to be our 300 blackout, and it's going to be built on the same premise as the CA7, and it's a California exclusive. There's that word again. <laughs> so, same thing, same concept, bolt action repeating, you gotta compromise in California, right? But, interestingly enough, we came out with a new, we came out with a new thing for California, and it's called the Title One. Okay. Title One is gonna be a semi-auto. I read about this. Yes, yes, this is the thing that kind of broke the news for a couple of days, and uh, it's got 16 inch barrel, forward grip, but Legally, this is not a pistol or a rifle, according to definitions. Yeah. Just a firearm, it's an other. According to that state that shall not be named exactly. definition of what yes. a firearm is, what a rifle is, it just doesn't fall into any of those categories. Exactly. So our legal team took a hard look at all the laws and we said, hey, here we go. Here you go. Title one, right? So how long did you have to chain them to their desks to find <laughs> a long time, <laughs> and they're still kind of chained to their desks, in fact, yeah. um, but I'm detachable. Adding. You got your 30 round with that, that window opened up for the 30 round magazine. If you legally own one, you can use it in this. Um, also, it's semi-auto, so there that, you go. Man. That has like all of the AR-ish stuff, except for a stock. Exactly. That's, That's basically what it is, man. I, and uh, we're still waiting on the DRO system to be fixed. It's still pending in California but yeah. we're trying to make it work as best as possible. That's really good news for, for folks who live in occupied territory. That's, exactly. That's awesome. So those restrictive states, look for this soon. Hopefully it'll come out soon. And uh, we're still working on the DRO system. Another thing we got is the CA-12. So another CA series, right? Same uh, premise as the CA-11, that upgrade of the CA-7. Bolt action repeating, but for those hunters, 350 Legend. Okay. Yes. All right. What do you yeah. notice about that? What's that? What do you got about the here? The vertical foregrip on a pistol makes it an AOW. Over 26. Ah, sweet. Ah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, right? And then, for our final one here, we absolutely released a banger of a trigger. I'm sure you guys, pretty sure you guys saw this at range day. Yeah, I was shooting day. that yesterday. Exactly. What'd you think? That was sweet. It was yeah. so much fun. Um, as we were talking about yesterday, just turning money into noise, but doing it a lot cheaper, gets exactly. you a lot more pews for a lot less money, and seeing a selector switch on a 1022 is, is pretty cool, is right? pretty rad. Yeah, it's pretty rad. So it's the same premise as all of our other triggers. It's got the three position selector, the safety selector, so safe, semi, all the way back would be binary, and it's all the same thing. So you pull the trigger, it fires, release the trigger, it fires, and you can always cancel that second shot as well. Coming out soon, uh, MSRP on this one's gonna be $299.99, and expect this to be shipping within the next six months, first six months of the year, so. And I, and I think I remember you telling me yesterday that right now they're trigger kits, but there will be drop-ins? We're exploring options for okay. drop-in, yeah. So. Will may be a little bit too strong a language, but yes. there might be drop-ins. So we're exploring options for uh, drop-in pre-built trigger packs. We gotta just sort that out, so. Sweet. Yeah. Cool, man. That looks awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. And then we got a ton of other triggers. We got the CZ, HK, AK, B and T. The list goes on, man. Okay. So we covered when these are out for the ones that we know. We covered mm -hmm. how much 
they cost for the ones that we know. Yes. Because a lot of this stuff is still in prototyping or early production, right? This one's in prototype. This one's going to production soon. The CA7 or CA series, those are already out and they range from about 900 bucks to about 1500 bucks depending on how many bells and whistles you yeah. want on them. Uh, Providence is about we're guessing about 1500. It's hard to say cuz it's so far out. And then the uh, BFS3 M4, about 1000 bucks for that entry level rifle. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Brendan, thank you for your time. Anytime, man. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to hit a lot of other booths. Stay tuned. I love you.